As the quality of life improves in our city, so does our public safety. Since 2011, Yonkers crime rate has gone down 34% and down 9% from 2016. Over the last seven years, we have transformed the Yonkers Police Department and our approach to the people we serve. Community policing is not just a slogan, it's a way of life. Through CompStat, we look at crime patterns. We hit the streets. We sit in neighborhood association meetings. We meet with community leaders. We mentor our youth and simply listen. I am proud to report that this year, Yonkers has its lowest crime rate since we began keeping statistics in the 1960s. Please join me in congratulating the fine men and women of the Yonkers Police Department. We're also ensuring our police force reflects the community it represents. This year, we casted a wider and more diverse net when recruiting our newest class of officers. In 2017, nearly 75% of those who took the Yonkers police exam were either uh, female or minority. We can also say the same. <laughs> we can also say the same for our fire department. 50% of our newest class of firefighters are minority, while one third of them are military veterans. Combined. <laughs> Combined, this, this latest fire class is the most diverse group of Yonkers firefighters we have ever had. And, our and when our police and fire departments can better reflect and in turn better relate to the people they serve, I think we can all say that's a yes. <laughs> I believe it is the human impact that continues to make us a better community. Some of you know that I am a hockey dad, <laughs> right? a lot of work. I see firsthand how a sport can build character and self-confidence, and that is why when the Yonkers police approached me about volunteering their time to start a youth hockey team mentored by our officers, I immediately said yes. And with the support of the NHL Players Association Goals and Dreams program, we formed the Yonkers Task Force Youth Hockey, a learn-to-play program for kids ages seven to nine. Many of these children never played hockey or even stepped on the ice before. But like pros, they picked up the game quickly. Our young people are engaging with our police, breaking down barriers, building bridges. The smiles on the kids and the parents, well, just take a look. I think it says it all. That's what community policing is all about. No moment during my time as your mayor was more frightening when I received a call on September 25th, 2017. I was told one of our officers was shot in the face after responding to a call of a suspicious person loitering, out, loitering outside a residential home. The extent of the injuries was unknown. And later that evening, I was told that Officer Kayla Marr sustained injuries due to a shootout and was bravely covered by responding officers and brought to safety while shots were still being fired. Five officers put their lives in harm's way for the sake of their fellow officer. And by the grace of God, Kayla's injuries were not life-threatening, and she was released from the hospital the very next day. Now, learning of her fellow officer's bravery was both humbling and inspiring to me personally. They define the very meaning of protect and serve. They not only saved Officer Mars' life, but they also saved the very life of the man who tried to take theirs. That is true heroism. <laughs> Last week, I had the pleasure of elevating Officer Marr to the rank of detective. Please join me in congratulating Detective Marr, Officer Lepsetsi, I hope I got that name right, uh, Reader. Uh, Officer Moore, Officer Bennett, and Captain Lean. Thank you for your service to each other, and thank you for your service to our city of Yonkers.